Well, howdy diddly dandy there, people to say, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I've got a new toy that I want to review. Yeah, so a new toy, it's a new bit of kit for streaming. So I've had this Blue Yeti Nano for some time. Now it's got a mute button on there, nice big green one that's nice and easy to hit up. And, you know, you can tell when it's muted and when it's not muted. It's got two settings. So, yeah, Cody or whatever it is, which is like conical in front of it recording or just... um surround sound now i always find that my blue yeti mini nano thing gives a bit of a tinny feel to the quality of sound and i just can't seem to narrow it out and also i find that when i'm over this way and i turn just slightly from the mic sometimes it cuts out my voice and you just see it just drop off i don't know where it goes it goes invisible Anyway, at the moment, you're here in my quadcast. I'll swap over to the actual Yeti for a while. Why I show you around this new mic of mine, you should see the difference, or hear, I should say, the difference. OK, right, well, I've swapped over to the Yeti while I'm giving you a tour of this new lovely fandangly camera, the, oh, not camera, microphone that I've got. <laughs> OK, so it's the HyperXS. And you can see here down at the bottom, it's got a little gain controller already, so I can actually turn it up and down on the fly, so I don't have to worry about software. It's actually on the hardware side, which is quite lovely, like that. And it's also got four settings there on the back. And you can see it's got the settings that I would normally use on the Blue Yeti. So there's that Kodi one, the sort of flattened, sort of pancake looking bottom marshmallow type shape that I usually have my Yeti on. But I really like this. It's got like a shock, shock absorbing cage. I can take it off of this stand and put it on this boom arm, which I'm thinking about doing. So at least it's hanging down in the view and you can see all the colors inside the, the screen. I mean, you can see I like lights. It's like freaking Las Vegas in here, baby. Heck yes, it is. Anyway, I'm going to jump back on over to uh, this this microphone now. I mean, you can hear the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti is lovely. Now, the Blue Yeti, I'd say, has got a, a finer build quality. It's really, really heavy. Beautiful mic. And look, if I take this cover off, actually, I swap over to the other one. I swap back to the Hypercast. So there we go. I'm back on the old Hypercast. But look, if I take the actual, I can take the muffle bit off of there. It's such a nice looking mic, isn't it? It looks professional, this one. This one looks a little bit more fun, to be fair. But I do like the mute button. Watch this mute button. I should have done this when I had the Yeti out, but here we go. How cool is that? So you know when you're not recording. Yeah, so you're not going to make that mistake. It's a lovely little mic, and I am considering swapping over to it as my full-time mic. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the actual comments. It'd be awesome to find out your thoughts and feelings on which you feel has got the best sound quality or the best visual experience. I think visually this one's the nicest. I think sound quality-wise, I'm a little bit torn. I think this one sounds a bit tinny, the actual Blue Yeti. Whereas this, this new mic, I think it sounds more true to my voice. That's how I feel about it anyway. So I think looks and audio, this one is the winner. Um, yeah, so I think I will be using this one. But just let us know in the comments if you think the Blue Yeti is better. But there we go. And it's the Blue Yeti Nano. It's not the Pro. And the Pro has got the same features as this one. So maybe I should have gone for the Yeti Pro. But this one looks gnarly. You know what I It looks gnarly. It's really lightweight, though. It hasn't got the same quality of build as the Yeti. But there you go. That one was about 60 quid. This one was about 150, but I got it for 110. I'll put the links to how I, where I got these from in the video description. They're both on Amazon. And this one was reduced for a small period of time. If you're quick, you might be able to secure yourself one. But there we go, people in the viewerverse. I hope you've liked my little mini review. I'm not going to drone on for ages because I'm not a mic specialist. I'm not an audio technician. I could go into all the tech specs, but you know what? That goes straight over my head. If it goes over my head, it might go over yours. But what I would say is there's loads and loads of reviews of each of these mics individually that go into all that techie geeky stuff. All I'm doing is, does it sound nice? Does it look nice? That's what this review is. This one, I think, looks nicer. And, in my opinion, sounds nicer, but this one's got a better build quality and it does sound quite rich. So, it depends, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll leave it up to you guys. Till next time, cherry bye!